Hello and welcome to St. Dominic's Church. Thank you for joining us once again for this special YouTube Mass. This weekend we are celebrating the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please join in singing at home as you are able. You shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. It's good to gather together, uh, either physically or virtually, once again, to uh, praise God together, to seek God's guidance and strength and healing in our lives as we praise and thank God in this Holy Eucharist. Good news, Father Terry is back in the country. Uh, he's uh, uh, in the time of quarantine, the uh, mandatory 14 days of quarantine for all travelers. And so, uh, uh, but it's good that he's back in, in the country here. And uh, his mother's still very ill though, so we, our heart really goes out and our prayers to her. And, the whole family, Father Terry in a special way, is, uh, must have been very difficult to, to leave India with his mother still so ill. Our Mass intention today is for the repose of the soul of Virginia Garcia. Let's prepare ourselves for this celebration, acknowledging our need of God's mercy and putting our trust once again in the unconditional love of God. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the, in the highest, highest, and, and on, on earth peace to people, to people of, goodwill. of goodwill. We praise, we praise you, you, we bless you, you we adore, adore you, you, we glorify, we glorify you. you, we give, we give you thanks, thanks for, your, for great your great glory. glory. Lord God, God, heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten, only begotten Son, Son, Lord God, God Lamb, Lamb of God, Son of, Son of the Father, Father you, take you take away the sins, the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you, you alone are the Holy One, one. You alone, alone are the Lord. Lord. You, you alone are the Most High, High Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, with the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, in the, the glory, glory of God, God the, Father. the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray.
Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. Job spoke to his friends, does not the human being have a hard service on earth? And are not their days like the days of a laborer? Like a slave who longs for the shadow and like a laborer who looks for their wages, so I am allotted months of emptiness and nights of misery are apportioned to me. When I lie down, I say, when shall I rise? But the night is long, and I am full of tossing until dawn. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle, and come to their end without hope. Remember that my life is a breath, my eye will never again see good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I proclaim the gospel, this gives me no ground for boasting, for an obligation is laid on me. And woe to me if I do not proclaim the gospel. For if I do this of my own will, I have a reward. But if not of my own will, I am entrusted with a commission. What then is my reward? Just this, that in my proclamation, I may make the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my rights in the gospel. For though I am free with respect to all, I have made myself a slave to all so that I might win more of them. To the weak, 
I become weak, so that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, that I might by all means save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, so that I may share in its blessings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As soon as Jesus and, and his disciples left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told Jesus about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sunset, they brought to Jesus all who were sick or possessed with demons, and the whole city was gathered around the door. And he cured many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons. And he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, Jesus got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. He answered, Let us go on to the neighboring towns, so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. And Jesus went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In many Bibles, the uh, each section of the Bible has a different heading to say what it's generally about. And uh, uh, in the passage that we just heard last Sunday and this Sunday, the section from Mark's Gospel, uh, the heading that's often used is uh, a busy day in Capernaum. A busy day in Capernaum. And uh, that is what we might call an understatement. You know, we heard last week how uh, Jesus uh, was in the synagogue preaching and casting out a demon from a man. And th this Sunday in uh, this section of Mark's Gospel, uh, we hear about uh, Jesus uh, he healing uh, Peter's mother-in-law. And then there's the whole uh, town gathered at the door and uh, at, at, in the evening. And he's... Uh, uh, talking to them and, uh, and healing them both physically and spiritually until uh, late at night. So indeed, uh, a busy day in Capernaum. 
Now you'd think after that that Jesus uh, might sleep in the next morning, you know? Uh, maybe have a, a late brunch uh, chatting with his disciples about the success of the day before. But no, that's not what we see. And Jesus, we're told, uh, goes out to a deserted place. While it's still very dark outside, it says he went out to a deserted place to pray. Went out to a deserted place to pray. Eventually, his disciples come looking for him. And they say, everybody's looking for you. And Jesus, in response, says, uh, uh, we're going to move on to the, the neighboring towns so that I might uh, preach the good news there, too, because that is what I came out to do. He's got that clarity and that determination, and it would seem that he, he got that largely through his time that he had just spent in prayer with the Father, communing with the Father and experiencing uh, guidance and strength from the Father uh, that he might go out, go beyond, and uh, bring the good news. It's something we see him doing again and again in the Gospels, especially when uh, there's difficult times or times of big decision. We see Jesus goes off to a quiet place and prays. Now we know that Jesus in his humanity was tempted as we are, and it must have been tempting for Jesus just to stay put there in Capernaum. He has had tremendous success there, you know, and... Uh, must have been tempting to say, well, let's just, it's, uh, things are going well here and uh, people seem to admire me well here. Let's, uh, let's stay put. But uh, as we see uh, with the Father's guidance and strength, he's able to move on and go beyond to, to spread the good news. St. Paul was also one who really uh, went, moved on regularly in his life and, and went beyond to spread the good news. Uh, we see that same ability in him as, uh, as uh, Jesus had. And he too, like, like uh, Jesus, must have been tempted at times just to stay put, you know? Uh, maybe in Antioch, for instance, the, the great tight-knit Christian community there, he must have been tempted to, to stay there, but uh, again and again, what we see in Paul, he moves on from community to community as he uh, is moved uh, by the Spirit to bring the good news to them. In the second reading today is Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. We're, we're given a kind of a, a special insight into that internal struggle that Paul must have felt at times about uh, staying put uh, rather than moving on. Uh, it's almost like he's preaching to himself uh, when he says that preaching the gospel doesn't give him gr grounds for boasting or cashing in on rewards but rather he's intent, as he says, to make the gospel known free of charge to as many people as possible. So how does he do it? You know, and I believe it's the same answer as for, for Jesus. Paul, like Jesus, Paul's continually turning to the Father for guidance and strength uh, in his life. You know, we see him again and again praying for himself and for others. Like we hear, uh, for instance, in uh, his letter to the Colossians when he says, I ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will and all spiritual wisdom and understanding so that you may live worthily of the Lord and please him in all respects, bearing good fruit in every good deed, growing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might. So he too seeks out for himself and for everyone in the Christian communities that he's ministering to, he seeks out that guidance and strength of the Father in, in their lives. So we have these two wonderful examples in our, our gospel and in our second reading today of Jesus and Paul who are enabled to reach out beyond themselves, to go out beyond themselves by turning to the Father for guidance and strength. So they're good examples for us too. But 
we, we all have times that are more difficult in our lives, don't we, when we may doubt if God is really even on our side. Uh, we may well even identify with Job in our first reading today who uh, says that God has allotted him months of emptiness and nights of misery. Months of emptiness and nights of misery. You know, in that story of Job, such a powerful, instructive story in the scriptures in the Old Testament, uh, in that story, uh, Job has lost everything on all at the same time. He's lost his health, his wealth, his children have died. You know, traditionally we speak of the patience of Job, somebody having the patience of Job. So that means sort of quietly bearing uh, what they have to bear in life, the, the struggles and sufferings of life. And indeed, in the first part of the book of Job, Job does do that. But in the majority of the book that follows, Job is letting God have it. He's literally letting God have it, venting to God and questioning God and even challenging God about the fairness of the way that God seems to be treating him. And although at the end of the gospel, uh, God does uh, lightly sort of reprimand Job for not having uh, perhaps enough humility in the way he spoke to God, uh, yet God never condemns Job for, for venting against God and speaking out, questioning, or even challenging the fairness of the way he was being treated. In fact, God commends Job for daring to speak out boldly to God in this way. The thing is that Job, rather than turning away from God in all that he was suffering, all the misery he was going through, he still turned toward God, turned toward God, poured out his heart to, to the Lord, to God, with faith. So let us continue to turn toward God in our life, to pour out our hearts to our God, no matter what we're going through, to seek guidance and strength from God, that we might reach out beyond ourselves in good times and in bad times. Together now, let's profess the faith we share. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Recognizing the presence of Christ in this house of prayer, let us pray for his healing touch to end this pandemic as we intercede for those afflicted, the sick of our parish, and the needs of the church. For the church called by the Lord to proclaim the gospel to all nations, and for doctors and healthcare workers who continue the healing ministry of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For spiritual and civic leaders called to dispel the demons of prejudice and hatred, and for those worried about their financial future or burdened by anxious days and sleepless nights, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the homebound, the hospitalized, the lonely, and the unemployed, and for children who are bullied and tormented at school or at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for the spiritual and physical well-being of all parishioners, for those who have died recently and all who have died in the hope of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the repose of the soul of Virginia Garcia, and we pray for all of her family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In your compassion, O God, graciously hear our prayers and send your spirit to our afflicted world to touch our lives, bring health of body and spirit, and raise us to new life in your service. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. <laughs> O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice gave you thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, 
whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, the martyrs, St. Dominic, and all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. together as God's beloved ch children, as Jesus himself taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be, be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will, be done, will be done, on earth, on as, earth it as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, our bread, daily bread, and forgive, and forgive us, us our trespasses, our trespasses as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. Against us. And, and lead, us, lead not us not into temptation, into temptation but deliver but us from evil. from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer some sign of peace to those around us.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only only say say the word and my soul soul shall be healed. In the body of Christ, keep us safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Special thanks again to Sean for leading us so beautifully in song and uh, looking after technical matters here to get us out on screen. Uh, thanks to our family team there, Larissa for reading and Freddie for setting up for Mass, Farrell for serving Mass, much appreciated. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in the peace of Christ to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.